as we build on on the topic this morning if you look at that the first question that God asked in verse 9 is where art thou hear them where art thou it appeared to me as if there is a particular place where God was expecting to meet Adam. But Adam was not there. Where art thou? I think God is asking somebody that question again this morning. Where art thou? Peter, I'm calling somebody's name. Where art thou? Femi, where art thou? You see, for God to ask that question, it means that God was there. It was Adam that was not there. God is asking, why did you miss church the day I came to bless you? Where art thou? Why did you choose to be absent on the day I came down to bless you? Where art thou? It's a great laws to be absent in the day of his presence where are thou you see if you miss the meeting the truth is you have missed the blessing some people think that each time we gather together in church like this it is just mark attendance no it's more than that when we come to church like this we actually came or come to meet with god and most of the time god will always honor the meeting but it is always in the nature of man to miss the meeting god was there but Adam was missing and do you know that there are people who could be bodily present but their mind is not there god is asking where are thou where are you? I remember very well we had a meeting some years back. We're still at the whole facility we're using. And the presence of God was so heavy upon that meeting. And God was speaking to me about one of our members. That he was going to do something marvelous. And that I should bring him out and sort him out and go to him. And guess what? From the altar I was looking around for him. I couldn't find him. My heart was bleeding. And then I asked God, I said, God, what do I do? He said, let him be here otherwise. I had to sneak to the wife and ask, during the service, where's your husband? He says, Ato. I said, call him now and let him be here. I came to bless you. I came with your answer. I came with your breakthrough. But the question is, where are you? Do you know that in many gatherings today, People can be in church and be browsing. And God is asking, where are thou? I read something so pathetic that I felt like crying. My heart was bleeding. I mean, bleeding. Just last week, a lady was in church. She was not aware that the person at her back was watching her. She was in church and she was sending a nude picture. And the person at her back captured her and the nude picture she was sending in church where are thou in my heart it's even good that she's not in that church the devil had eaten so deep into people's heart in this generation and god is asking where are you you can't live this life alone you need me to live where are you you can't survive without my impute in your life where are you? You should not be here to just mark attendance. Where are you? In fact, if you look at that question, it, it extends to a lot of things. You've been in church for three years, for two years, 
and I'm expecting you to be in a service unit, serving me with your strength, serving me with your resources, serving me with your ability and everything I gave to you. Where are you? Where are you? I didn't expect that you are going to be feeling just the seat, just to be sitting down. I expect you to find, I expect to find you in a point of duty working for me. Where are you? You can also consider that statement as, I expect you to be here, but you are here. This is where I'm expecting you to be. So, where are you? 